with ABC News here with a couple of superstar guests. We have the newly crowned Miss Universe, Iris Mitonier. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. The former Miss France, everyone, now Miss Universe. And of course, Miss USA, Deshaun, Deshauna Barber as well. I'm never washing these cheeks again, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are here. You wanted to go to the Statue of Liberty. Yes, I'm so excited. I can see the Statue of Liberty, and this is my first time. I'm really excited. Uh, you know, I really feel like the Statue of Liberty because this is a French, and she has a crown. She lives in New York, so I, I really want to see her. She may be the only woman in the area with a crown fancier than yours. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's why you wanted to see the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, of course, was a gift from France. Yeah, that's why I say that. That's because this is a French statue, and this is a symbol of uh, the friendship between U.S. and France. So I really wanted to do he to go here with the Shana because I think this is her symbol. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it's it's also a symbol of of opportunity for immigrants coming into this country. Always has been, although in the news recently we've seen that symbol sort of changing. When you were in Manila getting ready for this this pageant, what was the rea the reaction from all of the contestants to the new immigration order that went out? To the new immigration in in France? In, in no, the USA. It, I think. Well, hmm, what was the feeling there. I think that mostly the contestants and I, I don't know if we were um, as, what's the word? I think that the main thing that the United States stands for is welcoming immigrants. We're, we're built on immigration, so I don't know if we were all in quite agreeing with uh, the band that came out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, anyway, we're, we're on our way here. If you're just joining us, we're on our way to the Statue of Liberty. Armando, get a shot of the statue here. It's looking very nice. So Iris, when you won, when you were crowned as yeah. Miss Universe, what was that feeling like for you? Uh, it was absolutely crazy because France never win Miss Universe and I really didn't expect and I couldn't believe it. But now it's it's a very big honor for me and I'm very happy to uh, to be here in New York and to, to have this opportunity. I feel very lucky and honored. Absolutely. And, and I'm... You made a lot of great new friends on the trip. In fact, you are now living with Deshauna, with Miss USA. How has that experience been? Uh, it's been wonderful. I, I think that's one of the great things about being Miss USA is I have the opportunity to be able to have a roommate as awesome as Miss Universe. So we've had a chance to really be able to bond and really be able to mix our cultures together and understand where we both come from. So I think it's been amazing. Absolutely. So you got to give us the dirty details. Who is the messier roommate? <laughs> me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm very new and my stuff are very organized, but maybe in three months. See, now you've only been living together for two days, so we'll see how that goes. What else have you been doing in New York? What? What else have you done in New York? Oh, uh, I went to St Times Square, to Central Park, and now to the Statue of Liberty. So. We've all been enjoying New York Fashion Week. We've uh, been to Dan Liu, which was an, yeah. an awesome designer today. And we're going to Nicole Miller. And we're actually both walking in the Sherry Hill Fashion Show on Monday. So we're incredibly excited. Yeah, we are. Great. So we can look out for that. And now speaking of fashion, you both had some incredible costumes in the Miss Universe pageant. Uh, can, tell me a little about that. Yours was sort of a can-can yeah. uh, Moulin Rouge style. Exactly. It's an authentic costume of Moulin Rouge. And uh, I really love this costume because this is exactly like French people like and love this kind of stuff. This is a red feather and, uh, and a lot of stress. And a lot of people go to Paris to, to see this. And it was the first time that Moulin Rouge uh, send the costume out of the country, France. So it was oh, crazy. Yeah. And so, Deshana, you actually had sort of a shout out to your military service. You're actually in the U.S. Army Reserves, and your costume was this really fierce, like almost a Valkyrie warrior woman sort of thing. How, how cool was that? Uh, I think it felt amazing. The, the main thing that we wanted to go for uh, in terms of the costume was getting in touch with women empowerment, being able to show that we represent power, we represent uh, determination, and we kind of wanted to embody a soldier which would be a warrior a superhero a gladiator someone that's able to defend the country so i think it was really cool to kind of get in touch with my uh superhero side and uh kind of we call it captain usa because of the shields very captain america so it was really awesome and so you've both spoken out about uh beauty contestants people 
uh, women being more than than just the looks. And uh, for example, Iris, you are studying to be a dental surgeon in France. You're uh, tell me a little bit about why that's important to to talk about uh, women's brains as well. Yeah, of course, because you know, women we are not just a pretty face, a pretty smile, and we have a lot of things to say, a lot of things to do, and it's important to say that we are powerful. And I'm so proud to to become a dental surgeon. I'm proud because. I think we, we can help a lot of children, we can help a lot of people all around the world and that's why, that's exactly that why I want to be Miss Universe and that's exactly what I'm going to do this year, I hope I can. We'll, we'll be looking out for it and Deshauna, you have done a similar thing in terms of speaking out about how women are just as capable as men in the military. Right. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I, I think that being Miss USA, we're kind of able to show that versatility. I, I, that's what I wanted to go for in terms of competing for pageants in the first place. I think that having the Miss USA stage and the Miss Universe stage, you're having women with so many backgrounds, uh, women that come from so many parts of the world, and you're just really able to show that we're more than just a sash and a crown. We are women that are determined to focus on our advocacies, to focus on our causes, and to do what we can to change the world. More than just a sash, certainly, and I think, did I hear that uh, one of you left your sash in the car before we came out here? Did that happen? Yes, it did. <laughs> you I know, don't we, we I don't want to answer at this question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm asking questions that are a little too hard-hitting here. <laughs> a lot you know we're always moving around with bags and shoes and makeup and, and sometimes we can yeah. misplace things so sometimes you know forget things in the car but that's why the car stays near us you know can always go back and grab what we need absolutely well thanks so much for talking with us today we're gonna we're gonna let you enjoy this beautiful view here what do you think about that Cool. Well, we're going to be uh, riding around this, this ferry here for a little while longer. We'll let you keep watching on the slow stream. Thanks so much for watching. I'm David Merrill with ABC News. Ladies, thanks so much for talking with us, and we'll look forward to seeing what you do next. Okay. Thank you All so right. much. Thanks, everybody. Um, yes, so the, I believe it was on the ABC News last